Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Ozone. We just left off making some more plastic. Um, our plastic setup is going to have to evolve quite a bit before we can actually move forward. We're also going to need to make some automatic sieves. And for sieves, I'm probably going to use this one. Um, the reason I say that is because we're going to need some tungsten and tin or zinc. So tungsten comes from netherrack. And what's the chance? 22%. So we'll probably have multiple of these. And then I filter out what I want. Zinc, zinc, zinc. I'm not seeing the zinc anywhere. Ah, there it is. So sand, netherrack. Okay. So we'll have those two, and then we'll just filter out whatever we need. Sounds like a good way to do it. We'll get to that in a little while, though. Because um, the thing is, is, I'm not even thinking I'm going to use these two, so it might not be necessary. Um, but the auto sieve itself will give some generally good things. Like, I get Blizz Blitz and Bass Holes from compressed dust. Interesting. Um... Very useful because, yeah, um, I can also get, let's see, some stuff that I don't have, draconium, so end, end stone, and I can, oof, ender lily and prosperity shards, oop, prosperity shards, very useful, um, So there are some things that I would like to get out of that, obviously. All right, how much LPG do we have? That's a lot of LPG, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's 16, okay. Nice, alrighty. I mean, 18, I already made one, so. Yep, we're good. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There we go. We have enough. Okay, let's... Ah, yes. So I need to make some cannons. I need more compressed iron. Can I drop one? No? Okay. Alright, how much plastic do we have? Got that, and then 4,000 extra there. So we have 20? Yeah. Oh, wait. Aha! Look how useful this is. Make a couple compressed blocks. Look how useful that is. Extremely useful, that's what it is. Um, uh huh. There we go. And there we go. Cool. Pressurized assembly. Stand by. Okay. How, how do I... Hold on. Um, 
how am I supposed to do anything with this? Am I... This is... Uh, was there a manual for this? Hold on. Was there a manual? <laughs> Where'd it go if there was? Uh, pneumatic craft, right? Is there a manual? No de dum de dum. All right, what's the block called? The uh, assembly controller? All right, hold on. Opening up Chrome. Give me a second. It's gonna be a journey into the depths of... How to use the assembly controller in pneumatic craft. Uh, not working. Well, how do you place it on the platform? That's what I want to know. Oh, is there an input? Oh, there's an input chest. Okay, hold on. Then let's... Hmm. Okay. So then we're going to have to move this over by one. Give me a second. I need to go grab another pipe. How much did we lose? Quite a lot. Okay. two chests pressure oh no no, no program okay okay now I need chests Okay, and then I throw you in there. Oh! <laughs> this took a while. <laughs> I'm gonna watch every single part of it because this took a while, okay? Well, this is actually really cool. There aren't any particle effects. That might be because particles are off. Wh okay, wow. It turned them right into those things. It's slow because I don't have much pressure, but once we have a uh, liquid compressor, then this thing is going to go fast. Or the advanced liquid compressor, I should say. Oh, you can see the actual little laser going. Oh. There it is! There it is! After a while, I finally have it! Oh my gosh! 
That took forever. I'm not even exaggerating. That literally took, like, what, 50 episodes to get to? And there's still more that we have to do. <coughs> wow. That took a bit. Okay. Get rid of that. We want this guy now. So, oh, we need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we have that. All right. We're going for this guy now. We also need this guy. Do I already have that in the Emmy system? I don't. Let's go. Let's go throw that in the Emmy system then. We have pressure tubes. We do. Okay, cool. We have leather. We do, but we don't have a way to craft it. I guess we'll get that in a bit. Okay, air compressor. We don't have that, so we need that, which isn't that hard to make. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then I didn't need to do that. Hold on. We can throw these guys in there. Just way easier if it makes it, not me. Okay, now that I have this thing, what we can do, head back over here, is we can, we're going to attach it to this thing. like that see okay so then we're going to uh, I'm pretty sure it can't explode this machine is a tier 2 version uh, like it's less resistant brother it can generate compressed air using liquid fuel cell fuel all usable fuels can be seen in the available fuels tab however this one generates at 50 milliliters per tick and also produces heat the higher the heat, the lower the efficiency. The bottom arrow on the temperature gauge indicates where the efficiency will start to drop, and the top arrow indicates the 0% efficiency mark. Unlike you might expect from this mod, this means she won't explode when the temperature gets too high. So what we want to do is we want to make a vortex tube that gives it cold air. The vortex tube is actually really easy to make, so we're going to go make that. <coughs> Or actually, heat sink might be a better idea. Do we have bars? We don't have iron bars, we're gonna need to make those. Well, either way, making them either way, so. Okay, there we go. And we want to make the heat sink. Okay. Past it. Oof, 
that's next to wood. I don't want that, so we're gonna put it right there. And the thing that we're gonna do is we're going to make a lava generator like we have over here. Do we have any lava sand? We do. Okay, so now we need cauldron and a cobblestone generator, which I can actually probably just get by doing this. Uh huh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Cancel. Alright, hold on. We gotta actually go over there. What? Oh, there it is. I was about to be like, you're kidding me. Now, my one concern is, it says that this thing can't explode, but can this thing explode? Mm. Uh. Okay, I'm going, how do you make this? Um. Let's make one of those. And then attach it to it just to see. Um, just to test it, because it's scary. Let's get all this in here for a second so I can organize my thoughts. We want you, we want you, we want you. Cool. Okay, this is getting really compact. Um, why don't we move this around a bit? Okay, so let's say... Or you know what we can do, we can just do this. I don't have enough slabs. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Don't do that. That's probably better. Um, and in fact, let's expand it a little bit more. Okay. Alrighty then. So the first thing we want to place down is all this. Hold on. I mean, want to. Did I? I did. Okay. Also want to grab these guys, so we want to place. This guy there, that's wrong. Like immediately, that's not right. <laughs> oh. Ok, 
grab the wrong one. Um, do I have? There it is. There we go. Then we take this guy, put it right here. Then we have a heat sink right there. And we take our mechanical pipe when we do this. There we go. And it does actually put stuff in there and it does start generating. So it's actually working good. Next thing we need to test is whether or not it'll blow this thing up. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't say that it can't blow up, so we're gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna stand away, stand back. Okay, it did as I expected and it blew up. Good thing I checked. So we cannot... <sighs> this is stupid. Um... Hmm. It seems like the, the thing that it blows up is only the machine though. If that's so, then... What's this thing? Where did it go? This guy. Okay, we'll hit just. Just make it hard. What? No network power. What do you mean, no network power? Stop being bogus. Okay, if I use this guy. Is it, if I use this guy, does it blow up? Okay, there are upgrades. Hold on. Um, still blows up. Okay. Armor upgrade. Jet boots, the night vision, scuba. Do I have like a, a throughput pipe or like a This module emits a redstone signal, the strength of which depends on how much air is traveling through the tube. Oh. This module will release high pressure air when given when the given threshold is reached. Although it prevents explosions, released air counts as energy lost. When upgraded with an advanced PCB. So this is what I want. Okay, so let's head back over to the ME system, because I'm gonna need a lot of these guys. I don't know where to put it exactly um, I just know that it's going to be useful so we need the pressure gauge we need this 
this guy. Okay, then safety tube module. Okay, let's just. This isn't an actual placeable, it's, it goes somewhere inside something. So let's see. Modules? Does it go in upgrades? No. Okay, so let's see. If I take... I don't want to use guys again. And then I place it there. It blows up immediately. Okay, hold on. Ah! Ha! Okay. So now if I make... This guy and put it there. So once it reaches max, it should begin to just to prevent explosion, hopefully. If it doesn't, then I'm confused and annoyed. It's supposed to not do that. Is it because the max threshold for this thing is... Yeah, it's going off... Hmm. Now, okay, if I make another one of these guys. What's that? Pressure tubes. I can have pressure tubes. Can I place it? On this guy. No. Um, hmm. Air great tube module. This module will repel. Wait, what? Will repel or attack any entity within range depending on whether pressure is positive or negative. Okay. Regulator. This module will stop pressurized air from traveling through this tube when a given pressure threshold is reached. Ah! Oh, wait. Okay, so I need to upgrade this with an advanced. What the frick is a security module? Okay. So we want a regulated tube module. That's what we want. Charging module. Depressurize any pressure pile items in this inventory. Points that note air can, okay. Logistics module. This module communicates with other logistics. Okay. Uh, that's a redstone screen. Okay, so we want the regulator tube module. So let's head back again to the enemy system. And we want to make this guy. Something blew up. What blew up? Wait. Why'd it blow up? It, it literally says it can't blow up. When the temperature get... Okay, so then... I think I have enough plastic that I can make another one. Six. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, 
next to them. He won't. Let's make a safety two module and a regulator. Because it might be one or the other. They keep saying that it runs out of power, which is really annoying. on it. Uh, it's the same amount. Okay. So then I would say that this is good like for instance that's good to keep this from going over its own pressure limit. I'd say that's what we use this for. And then, place this here, and we release, obviously. Um, but then we have specific ones, like we'll have a branch go this way, we'll have one here that'll have a regulator tube module, which means we need an advanced PCB, which is four yellow plastic and a PCB. Okay, okay so to make a printed circuit board, we need three black plastic, three cyan plastic. then that's not enough plastic. Frick. At least this thing will never hit its uh, threshold. That's the good thing. Okay, so this says this module will release high pressure air when the given threshold is reached. Although it prevents explosions, released air counts as energy loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This module will stop pressurized air from traveling through this tube when it... Ooh. Yeah, no, we want to use we want to use uh, this guy safety tube module. We do not want to use the other one because it'll just stop the air. It won't release it. Oh, uh, good to know. So this thing, we can once we get an advanced PCB, we can notch that up to twenty, and then have another one there. Yeah, so it'll do that. Nice. Okay. The issue is, is that is still too much for this thing. Yeah. So then what we need is more plastic to make an advanced PCB. Where did I put my bucket? Did I put it in, put it in here? Put it in here? No. Oh, I used it, didn't I? Okay, let's make another bucket. Oh, wait, what the frick was that? Oh. <laughs> I have six buckets of purple slime. Is that for night slime? That's what I'm guessing that is. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Um... I just need like two more available plastic. That's what I need. Actually, which whatever this needs, which is five. So we're going to. Oh, hang on. We're going to limit. We're going to limit 
this thing to five and then connect that to it because that's all for this one system. Right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have each of these will have their own system. Okay, cool. And the thing is, this is made in such a way that I can automate it pretty easily. Okay, cool. I'm not as concerned now as I was. All right. I was I was getting like pretty worried that this wasn't going to work, but now now I think it is because if I set up a uh, automatic pressure or one of those blue units for each and every uh, one of these guys, then I can individually set their pressure marks. Which is good. Yeah, okay, so then, what am I making again? I forgot. Um, right, so I need three black. One, two, three. Okay, and then three cyan. And then four yellow. Yeah. Still have some left over, which is nice. Okay, then we want to take... Okay, cool. Um, we want to take these guys and so I need uh, yeah uh, so I need what 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 oh you stupid thing why do you do that? Two, three, four, five, six. I need redstone. Okay. Can we throw them in here? Like this. Okay, they're still going in, right? This is all for one, which is annoying, but. my brain a second to realize that we were done. Okay, well, technically it's good at any pressure, which is nice. Redstone. Oh, I get four? Oh, now that's nice. 
That is really nice. This item is used to upgrade two modules to unlock extra module configuration options. Right click this item on the two modules and install it. Uh, and we want how much? Five bar. So now it's going to release all the way down to five. Wonderful. And then we plug that in. Plug in all of our other things. Where did I, where did I put the drill? Did I put the drill in the ammo system? I didn't. Okay, so then let's. Here we go. But this is how. Our setup is going to look. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go grab the drill. But we're basically just going to duplicate this everywhere else. And I don't need a chest. Oh, boy. Where'd the other chest go? Oh, that is the other chest right there. Well, there we go. Now, obviously, that's going to get annoying. It, it's going to stay annoying. Um, we can try and get a muffler over here, but for now, it's just going to be like that. Okay, so, um, yeah, oh, I feel like that's, that's like a major weight off my chest right there. Um, so now, like I said, we just kind of repeat this design over there and we'll have what we want. Yep. Okay, so the next thing we want is the mob duplicator. Um, we need this, which takes that plastic. And uh, where's the mob duplicator? sure this plastic should already be made. Yeah, so we just smelt it. This is a different plastic. Hold on. Petrified enchantment sorter, enchantment extractor, enchantment pl applicator, mob crusher, mob potion brewer, animal baby, plant sower, plant fertilizer, plant gatherer, black hole unit, water condensator, resources fisher, animal rancher. I think this is what we want. Right? We have that down here. No. Mob slaughter, mob duplicator, mob block breaker, block placer, tree fluid extractor, latex processing unit, sewage composter, and animal sewer, sludge refiner. Lava detector, lava fabricator, bioreactor, biofuel, laser base, laser drill, ore processor. Black hole, black hole. Oh, okay, that's something. Dye mixer, enchantment factory, spores, reactor, animal grower, material stonework, black hole tank, source of furnace, refrigerator, exchange, energy field provider, ore dictionary, converter, routine reactor, routine generator, hydrator, weather builder, fluid pump, fluid crafter, plant interactor, atom splitter, fluid dictionary, converter, froster, Washing factory, fermentation station, fluid seeding machine. Okay. So yeah, so we want... So what we want is we want the animal rancher over here on this guy. I'm pretty sure. And then... Let 
since we do have that. We will be able to do a couple of other things, which will be nice. Um, <laughs> trying to think exactly how I want to do this. Um, what 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 else can this thing make? We can make that feels stupid over there. Pressure chamber, we can make, ah, we can do this. Mmm. Unassembled PCBs. Afroism tile, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so this is, this is the big one though. This is the one we want to work on. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we should have just, just gotten a whole bunch of dry plastic. Right? No, we shouldn't. Because I'm meant to put it in a crafting table and craft it into dry rubber. Now we have six. That's wonderful. Now it should burn. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then we want to make. I would say the animal rancher first. So let's. Let's see. Animal rancher. Do we have. Shears. We do not have shears. We have gold gears. We do not have gold gears. Do we have machine frames? We do not have machine frames. Do we have tin gears? No, but we have tin. Good to note. Okay. So then we put these down here. Cool. Throw these guys in. And we can now make an animal rancher. There we go. The bucket. It's the bucket. It's always the bucket. It's always the bucket, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so then we provide it with power. Or we just put it like right here. Put a fence post on it. Okay, and like I said, we just provide it with power, so we need power cables. <laughs> we do not have power cables. Universal. Oh, we do. Just not in my inventory. Okay, now it has power, which means it should begin. Down.
Okay, so it has power, so it should... Uh, hold on, actually. I'll do that. It's safer. Um... Oh, do I need to provide it with a bucket? I think I need to provide it with a bucket. Ha! Ah. Uh. It does work. Okay, so then what I need to do is get more fences. And change the area to be that. And then get rid of those. I'm gonna leave those so that it can spread. So now he can't move, and I get oil. But now that oil needs to be pumped somewhere. So we're gonna pump it somewhere. I forgot about the noise. <laughs> very, very long pipe. back, isn't it? Oh, it's the front. Oh, okay. That's not confusing at all. Okay, so that should have taken oil over here. It did. So now we have a constant supply of oil. The thing is, I kind of want more of these guys. The way we do that is we get a mob duplicator and then duplicate the mobs. However, I'm done. <laughs> So, thank you guys on YouTube for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Head over to Twitch and follow us here. Mm -hmm. Also, check out the link for the Discord on the banner. I'll, check you, I'll see you guys later. You'll have a great day. Bye.